so listen you need to wait to the end of this video I have something great for us you know it's too late don't let them have your blessing you know the issue is this haters frustrators destroyers are not far from witchcraft <laughs> Let's let, 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 let's be real and wait to the end of this video. <laughs> when I said they are not far from witchcraft, they have all the same spirit. <laughs> hey God, don't let them have your blessing. You know you come to understand that sometimes when things are hard for you, sometimes when you are passing a, your difficult difficult time in life, it will be hard for you to see someone. Who will be around you yes let me just drop my note and tell and, and, and explain why i said don't let them have your blessing and haters are not far from what witchcraft yes when i mean haters jealous envy they all have the same evil word spirit they are not far from witchcraft because envy people know always when good things are about to happen they always figure it out when you are about to elevate so people who have left you before and they are trying to come back into your life don't let them come yes i'm not saying you should hate them don't quote me wrong i'm not saying you should hate them I'm not saying you should not love them. I'm not saying you should not uh, make them your friend. But don't let them attach to your blessing. Because they will do what? They will destroy it, bro. <laughs> yes. When God is blessing you, people who have left you before, don't let them be the partaker of that blessing. Yes. That is just the fact truth. I'm not saying if you want to help them, you should not help them. But help them with what in these times because there are some people whom you will meet in your lifetime many of them know that you need them many of them know that you are in, a, in your difficult time but they will help you they will assist you they won't encourage you not only with money they won't be around you to to, to strengthen you because the issue is that Sword sharpened what sword? You got what I'm saying? The Bible says we should be, we should be, we should pray for one another. When the other one is is weak, you should pray for, you should do what? Help them, encourage them. But the issue is this: there are some particular people you will meet in your life. They will always be there when things are good around you. They they will always be there when things are really sweet around you. So these categories of people who come in your life off and on, you have to delete them totally. You have to automatically delete them from your life. I'm not saying uh, you, you, you have to in a, in, in a give them second chance. No, bro. I'm not saying you should give them second chance. Just delete them. Because many of them known with their what with their evil spirit they know that something good is about to come or maybe they are they were unable to discover it when they just discover that something is about something is going on in your life that there is uh, 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 there is what an open door there is a blessing that is already flowing what would they do they will try it on me to sneak in like a snake in your life they will try to mist to behave like a snake in your life to come in your life and at the end the aim of coming is not to increase what you have hey god i, I wish i'm talking to someone the aim of coming is not to increase what you have it's not to promote you it's not to elevate you it's not to help you or to assist you or to move you to the next level it's just to collect, destroy, and to steal. These are the three reasons why some people will come into your life. So you have to do what? 
to make them to do anything not to allow them to come into your life because all you have labor for all you have been doing all you have been plotting for fighting for they will end up destroying it and the issue is that they don't care how they are what it will cost you they don't care what it costs you after they have done everything terminate you destroyed your blessing because someone who destroyed your blessing have already destroyed you yes let's be real that is why you need not to give them a year that is why you need not to care what they say or what they are talking about you need just to focus on yourself because many of them we end up destroying it tell them it's too late it's too late for them to come into your life yes you can you can still see them in the road greet them laugh with them but don't let them come close to a point where they will start to be a partaker of the blessing that god have already released in your life you have saying brothers so let them do what first what they have automatically caused you to go through you can say because some people will come into your life not because they love you is because there's something that they have already noticed that is going on or maybe many of them with their evil spirit they have come to realize that it is already a time for you to move into or something is about to come in you know what i'm saying so remember blessed brothers don't make that mistake of trying to endure make them to come into your life again because they will destroy what god have already given to you they will terminate it you got to say so don't let anything lead you to a point where you start to feel bad or if you or where you start to feel like you want to bring them in again you got to say so remember bless me god bless you don't let them come into your life for the second time so have a good day